Everybody hates the fox, man. No fox was given today, man. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Match Malone. Yes. I'm still looking the same, and yes, I just recorded six or seven deck tags in a row. I mean, that is just how we do it here. If we aren't hard working, what Germans would we be, you know? But hey, at least you get to enjoy my one of my favorite shirts for a very long freaking time. As you're watching this right now, I'm either lying in bed sleeping, or depending on when you're watching this, I'm already on my way to LA, or if you're watching this even a day later, on my way to Las freaking Vegas for MagicCon. So that is why I've been recording 28 freaking videos already, you know, in this month, easy peasy lemon squeeze it, it's only the 12th for me. As you're watching this, it's the 21st or something like that, so uh, enjoy, enjoy your freaking day. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, Hardest working man in the business, you know all of that jazz. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the Mona White hammering. Today's video is a little bit shorter because when I was recording this, I was just so tired and burned out that day that at a certain point in time I was like, nah, I cannot do one more single game. But I got a lot of games in that show just what the deck wants to do. So here we freaking are. This deck could also be called No Fox Given, you know, because here he is, the Fox Bodyguard. It's a new creature, three mana, two, two with flesh, and when it enters the battlefield, you exile up to one target, non-Fox creature until it leaves the battlefield. So you cannot target other foxes with it, you know, for whatever reason, if you want to do that to protect your fox, you could freaking do it, because then you can sacrifice it and gain two life, so you could just bring it back. So that is why it's worth it this way, just in case you were wondering. We're playing a freaking white hardcore aggro deck. It's not hardcore aggro, but it is very aggro still. It has some bigger stuff in here, like one Moonshaker Cavalry. Just for, you know, just for the sauce. I, I just want to put it in here. We have the new Virtue of Loyalty. It's absolutely bonkers. For two mana, you have an ambush, so you create a 2-2 two -two White Knight. People don't play around this. They will just attack you with their 1-1, one -one, don't even care at all. You're like, yeah, what could they have, you know? Later on, you make a freaking five, uh, for five mana, you play this, and by the way, token by Dominic Meyer, absolutely freaking delicious. So, you play this, and now at your end step, you put a 1-1 one, one creature on all of, a uh, counter on all of your creatures and untap them. So you can just attack in if their board is clear, you know, if you're afraid of like revenge or vengeance or whatever, uh, your creatures untap now and get bigger. So that is absolutely freaking insane. So. What are other new spells that we're playing? Well, we're playing the Regal Bunnycorn. This power and toughness equal to the number of non-land permanents you control. So, you know, if you have five creatures, this is a freaking 6-6 six, six because it counts itself. So, if you have five other creatures, but it will grow bigger with, for example, the Spell Vendor. You pay one, you put a Sorcerer Spell token onto something. Uh, aura token, I mean, you know, these roll tokens. Now this creature gets plus one, plus one, and it's Christ when it attacks which for Mono White is ginormously important because you don't in the late game wanna hit garbage like only freaking lands. Or you wanna hit lands so you can play your Virtue, you know? So it is very, very good. So you play this on turn two. On turn three, you put a counter on itself or on one of your other creatures like the Regal Bunnycorn. You know, let's say you play Hopeful Initiate into Bunnycorn. Now your Bunnycorn already is a 2-2. You play your Spell Vendor and now it's a 3-3. Three, three. Now you put down the counter. It's a 4-4 four, four, plus the 1-1. One, one. It's a 5-5. Five, five. Freaking easy. Freaking easy, man. On turn 3, you have a 5-5 five, five Regal Bunnycorn. Thank goodness. This does not have Trample or whatever. But hey, that is just freaking fair. So, that is one of the new cards. Uh, I think that that is all of them. So what else do we have? Well, the Anointed Beekeeper, so we can pre keep freaking board wipes out of their hand, which is also very important. Together with the Invasion of Gobakan, you know, we choose the something we want, want with the Invasion. Now it costs only two. We uh, use the Anointed Peacekeeper and now it make it cost two more. So it's four more for a board wipe. Yeah, good luck with that, my friend. Because against Mono White, the only thing you can ever do is a board wipe. We bring down Natalia, now it costs even one more. So that is absolutely freaking Bananas. The Regal Bonnycorn also super good with the Adeline because now you attack in, it gets gross by two. One for the Adeline and one for the token the Adeline makes. Absolutely freaking humongous. The Invasion flips. Now all of your creatures get plus one, plus one counters if they attacked in. They get an additional one here. They untap. 
very darn freaking good and now they're indestructible so the only thing that can save them here is a freaking farewell or a uh, you know sunfall a card that i always forget about we have removal with the lay down arms because we only care about creatures same with the where fox you can do this end of your opponent's turn just get rid of one of the creatures now attack in we have one soul partition because i still had one space i want to use one for the moon shaker one for the soul partition no wandering emperor and we have the Phyrexian Vindicator, because Mono freaking Red. If you have the Phyrexian Vindicator against Mono Red, that is absolutely huge. It doesn't have Indestructible, it just prevents combat damage. Or damage in general, that is dealt with. So that is absolutely freaking good for the freaking deck. So, we also have the Agunjo. Remember one thing. That if you have your Talia out and you want to flip the invasion, you need one more mana for it because Talia taxes the invasion as well. There will be situations, I think, in the games where this happened. I don't remember it 100%, but I think there was something like that. So, yeah, that is what it freaking is. I think that the last game that I had on the video, I recorded the day afterwards and I was like, you know, I could keep on playing like for five hours, but I have other decks to do. So the last game is even from one day later. It was a crazy time. This month, these last seven days have been absolutely crazy and they're still going on with me recording all of these dead tags. So I hope you will enjoy. I'm in LA right now or in the plane to LA or I'm already in Vegas depending on when you're watching this. Hanging out with a lot of my good friends. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely great. If you are in Vegas, come say hi. There's special tokens that I have there that you can get with me in the creator's corner when I'm there and at the ultimate guard booth at the entrance of the freaking hall yeah i already know where it will be uh so yeah that is it thank you all so very freaking much i am the master of mono what matches malone and i will see you in those were fox games We are up against Brown. I hope that is not the name of your underpa- Oh my lord, Krimus, yes. And we finally get to play a white deck with these beautiful planes, man. Just a beautiful. All right. So, I want to try this one. Some people might say the Brutal Guitar is just better, but hey, I wanted to try, you know? Wanted to freaking try. Okay, we're up against the food deck. I'm one bajillion percentile certain that we are. Oh, what have you gotten here for me, my friend? The Kami! Well, I'll be darned. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Okay. Am I going with the spellbook vendor here? I am. I want to cry away. I'm getting in for more damage is just a little bit better. Uh, nope, thank you. Good that I scryed here. This land would not have made me happy. So. Uh, we do have the soul partition here as well, which is pretty darn good. The circle of confinement? Well, I mean, hey, not bad for you. Not bad at all. But with the soul partition, we can make it even more expensive, you know? Uh, but do I want to? No. First off, we're doing this and this and just slamming in there, getting in for some Dimaggio. Alright, nope. Look how good these crows are, man. In this deck, they're just absolutely amazing. Alright, so I don't even care about that. I just want to get rid of their uh, stupid Kami of Transients here. Grand Science? Conscience? I don't even know, man. So yeah, you can do that. I don't mind. You gotta get in here for some Dimaggio, but uh, will it be good enough? I don't think it will. I just don't think it will. No blockage whatsoever. So we can do this during their turn once they target it, you know. That is also pretty darn tasty. So, slamming in there. This one grows big and strong. The anointed beekeeper is actually pretty darn good. Okay, alright. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty close to dying here, my friend. Pretty darn close to freaking dying here. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's bring down you. 
just target the Kami. Oh, the bodyguard of the end. They scoop. You got beaten by a fox, man. Who are you, Star Wolf in Star Fox 64 for the Nintendo 64 out of the... I don't even know the year, but I want to keep on going. I got you, baby. Get out of here with your stupid enchantments. Why did you even play the garden, man? Jack Mears Garden is for cats only. Cats only, man. I am so looking forward to the World Championships to see what people will be playing. We're going first. Oh my lord, Christmas. Yes, but the hand is terrible. Hand is actually terrible. The hand is way better. Okay, we can live with that. And uh, we can just, you know, instant speed this, which is pretty darn good. Okay, alright. So, we're up against Mono Blue, eh? Nope, we're not. Okay. Alright. Bringing down this little boy here. Ooh, okay, alright. So let's trade, my friend. Let's trade. If you want to trade, that is absolutely fine with me. Get your little treasure. I don't know if it will help you, but whatever you play here, I can get rid of it. The Wandering Mind! I can still get rid of that. Very much get rid of it. Okay... I hope they don't have another land. Otherwise, this will be very saddening. Because we don't have any creatures anymore. No, they did have the land. Oh my, okay. Well, that changes everything. Literally freaking everything. Okay. So, you made the wrong call here, my friend. Just the wrong freak. Yeah. <laughs> You thought, hey, maybe I can, like, squeeze them out a little more like they were a lemon given to me by life. But today I say not today, sir. You stepped into the Mono White House where there is invasions of Gobokan, man. I will be invading your mind. Your little mind will be crushed in my head. And that, my friends, is the fruit of the day. The brain juice. Man, recording three videos a day is very hard work. <laughs> My brain is so fried, man. <gasps> Crimus? Absolute freaking Crimus. Okay, alrighty. So, I will be going with the invasion before I do anything else. Sleep Cursed Faith. Okay. Here's the invasion of Gobokan. So what have you got near my friend? Oh my! Oh my! Let's cut this one down. Oh my lord! <laughs> Just oh my lord! Just oh my lord! Okay, all right. So uh, I will be bringing down Talia here. This is the last chance to you know get the cut down up and running if they want to. Yeah, they do want to. Of course they do want to. Why wouldn't they want to? Okay, alright. So they need a lot of land here. If they don't have it, that is super fine with me. Okay, this is an instant. Yeah, it is. Alright, so attacking here like this. Yup. Okay. Just remember, Maloney, that you have to pay for the... Um, for the soul partition as well, now uh, for the invasion as well now. Yes, smirt, smirt. Okay, all right. So they still need another land here to be very happy. Will they have it though? Will you have another land here? Nope, you don't. Okay, all right. Super darn good. So I will still be slamming in if they untap their sleep cursed fairy. That is fine with me. How much does this have ward 2? Yep, okay, alright. Well, that is also fine with me. I will just flash this one in. Alright. So, I do have the light shield array here. They are attacking in, okay. Well, it doesn't concern me too much. Oh, this is getting better and better, isn't it? Just better and better. Okay. So there's literally no reason to attack with anything else but this. They can untap the fairy. 
and you know block my little one one but is that really the best thing they can do it is it is literally the best thing they can do okay all right i mean hey no mana no party am i right am i right high five thank you hand out of nowhere okay i mean we still have the freaking uh, light shield array here so tough as luck is but a compass i would say yeah I, okay and they even be attacking in now they can't they freaking oh this is just so beautiful just so beautiful all right they can never be attacking in anymore man never ever again yeah that is right you have to take it you have to take it oh my sweetest baby jesus <laughs> Fairies couldn't stand in our way. Nobody can stand in our way. This is a crazy mono white deck, but it is chef's kiss freaking delicioso. We're even in diamond tier one now. Shine bright like a freaking diamond tier one. Ding! We're up against hard hag. Okay, don't you hack me though. Opponent's going first. Unfair, but I like it. The hand is okay here. So, uh, let's give him a friendly waiver of the hand. Hello! Hello dear! It's enchantments, isn't it? But that is fine. We do have to lay down arms, so that is super good against enchantments. Not even lying here. Oh, it's not! Oh, well, it is. It still is like 100% enchantments. Okay. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to find out here. Next turn I will be playing Adeline. I'm thinking about keeping this. Thinking about freaking keeping this. Okay, so they're back to zero. Right now there's no need not to keep it, you know? The Fleetwood Dancer. They're even attacking in, alright. And that is kind of fine with me. I also still have the uh, a Ganjo here, so yeah, super good. Alrighty, so we're bringing them back to where they were. Still okay with me. Oh, we drain them for one up until now. That is pretty good. Pretty darn good. So, uh, the bringing in Jetmir. Okay, well, you know what I say to that? Not today, my little cat man. Not today. Alright. And they scoop. That is right, baby. <laughs> Everybody hates the fox, man! No fox was given today, man, to anyone that did not scoop right freaking away. Oh, where fox bodyguard? You're such a cute little fella. Get in my heart. We've literally played for 10 minutes, man. Dr. Harry! Mm-mm, he sure looks hairy. <gasps> Krimus, Krimus, my friend. Absolute freaking a Krimus. Okay, alrighty. What are we up against? Interesting. In that case, let's do this. You know, bring down the invasion next turn. Ooh, there's a bunny now. I still want to play the invasion. Do you think they have a cut down? Do you think they do have a cut down here? Well, we will have to find out, won't we? Freaking won't we? Oh, my lord. Oh, my god. <laughs> okay, yeah, the Sunfall needs to go here. Sunfall needs to 100% I'll go here. I will attack this like this. If they want to use the exile spell here, so be my... What even... Wait, what? Oh, oh, I'm so unsmirred. I am sure unsmirred. Holy smokes, I thought it costed two, but it costed two because of... Oh, oh, so destiny. All right, yeah. Not good right now, not good at all. Like, what was this hand, man? Pure only freaking removal. Nothing but removal, man. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, all right, like this is terrible for us. Literally terrible, man. This is the worst matchup we could encounter. You know, <laughs> like what is going on here? What is going on here, man? Okay. 
They bring him down this. Okay. They can just destroy everything here, you know? Just literally destroy freaking everything. If they do so decide to. They can get rid of this for one mana. Then still have the, uh, you know, the Void Rand open, which is pretty darn good for them. But I will bring him in sort of a pickle here by doing this. Do you really want to keep the Vindicator alive? They don't want to do that, I'm pretty darn certain. Either they Void Rent the Vindicator or the Rabbit. Okay, alright. If you want to do that, if you want to be like that, then be like that. What am I supposed to say about it? Sheesh, man. Just sheesh. You know what? Let's bring down you. I mean, right now we're pretty out of options, you know? Pretty much out of options. Our only option is to attack in here. They now use the Void Rent. Holy freaking smoking Jesus. What a game. And now they even have the Sunfall open. Disgusting. <laughs> I mean, it pretty much was the perfect game for them, you know? Pretty much was. They can still choose the bunny if they want to. If they really want to. But, you know, we can still do other stuff. So I will just bring down the bunny here. And, uh, yeah, we will see what they're doing, the anointed beekeeper man. You know, that would have been so nice to have against their freaking Sunfall. So let us see, they're playing blue. I'm so stupid though, you know, with the Elspeth smite here. Just so darn stupid. Okay, what, why is the, uh, I, like, I really am confused. The anointed peacekeeper always takes a bajillion freaking years to do anything. Always. A bajillion freaking years to do anything, man. Okay. So. Time for cost seven. They do have seven. Beautiful, isn't it beautiful? Isn't it lovely? So what you gonna do here, my friend? My god, these lands, though. These freaking lands, though, man. Not a huge fan. Like, not at all. Not at all. So they have a wandering emperor in hand. That much I know now. Because they're holding priority. Here it is, the wandering emperor. Oh! Oh. Okay. All right. And that is at least something, you know. I mean, we have eight car, eight lands. We have a fifty percent land draw rate. There's second dip. Okay. All right. Here is another whatever card. I. I am so sad right now. Another Siphon! Okay, alright. Well, I mean, go ahead and do that, my friend. Go ahead and do that. Did you find your one mana card that exiles my stuff? What a stupid game, man! I'm still doing my darndest here. Still doing my freaking darndest. Okay. So did you get your stupid tally or whatever? The invasion of Gobakan. Yeah, that is good. That is really good because I only have a land. Give him a friendly waver of the hand. Hello. Hello there. So we finally got our invasion. But they now have to uh, kind of, you know, wipe the board here. And we are on nine lands in the first 19 cards. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that freaking beautiful? Do they really want to use their freaking uh, sunfall here on one creature? They should, you know? That is the thing. They really should. All right, once more, as I said, they're playing blue, so they're going pretty ham here. But I will keep my hand open forever, you know, just open for freaking ever. And if they ever target my regal bunny corn, I will just light shield array that sucker. Spellbook vendor. Well, that's beautiful, isn't it? That is something that I would have loved to have in my hand. Okay, my turn here. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It costs seven now. Still choosing Sunfall here. Still choosing freaking Sunfall. Okay, all right. 
Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, it costs nine now. Costs freaking nine now. They know about this land. There's literally no reason to, you know, <laughs> be stupid with it. <laughs> so they will be playing a land into Sunfall here. Oh, okay, all right. That is no land into Sunfall, but still close enough, you know. Still freaking close enough. If we draw our cavalry here, which would be the fairest thing ever, I would be so happy. Two, four, six, eight, nine. They do have enough here. If I do draw another anointed peacekeeper, though, we can be happy. The Adeline. Let's slam down Adeline. If they want to counter that, that is fine with me. I thought they would counter it. I really, really thought they would counter it. Light shield array. Light shield away. We're still not even close to winning here. They just sunfall us and then we're dead, so... Because they have enough, exactly enough mana for it. Exactly enough. Which is just, you know, a total freaking scam in my eyes, but hey. Not a regal bunny corn, at least we got that going for us. Okay. So... What is a grand plan here, Mr. Dirty Harry? The Werefox is actually super darn good here. But they could just counter it. Well, it all comes down to this, doesn't it? Freaking doesn't it. Alright, did you find a removal? Of course they found a removal. Of course they found a removal. Like, who's even surprised? Stop lying. Okay, I mean, hey, you know, that is just all so bad for us. All so bad for us. I will still just play this Werefox um, end of turn because it will grow bigger with this and we like that. Okay, ending the turn. Because they can still counter this, you know? Are you joking, man? Are you literally joking? How does it never stop for them? Oh my god. God. Oh my god. Okay, what are they getting here? The Phyrex and Vindicator, eh? Yeah, like, not even, like, not even a question about it. Not even a freaking question about it. Oh no god, it was this. only lands? Jeez Louise, man. Jeez freaking Louise. It was only lands. Thank goodness. Okay. Our own Phyrex and Vindicator now. Good. Oh, they can counter it. Yeah, that's true. That is true. <laughs> they can just counter it. Okay. <laughs> Man, this game is so scammy. I cannot even put in words how scammy this game is, man. So darn scammy. Okay, so we can freaking uh, destroy this little land. If they want to attack my invasion of Gobakan, be my guest, man. Be my freaking guest. We have 20 in here now, we will have 20 afterwards. Land, land, and land. Wow! Wow, game, it's getting worse and worse here. But never give up, never surrender. That is just the rule of the law, man, the rule of the law. Okay, they're doing this, and they're doing that. That is kind of fine with me. I will totally use my ganjo on this. Totally freaking will. I'm so certain, like, you know, the, the, just from start to finish, this was such a scam game, man. Their hand was nothing but removal, and then, this and you know, all of the count, and this, like, I mean, come on, man, come on. Like, seriously, come on. So, if there is another land on top, that would be pretty darn, but four lands in a row, okay, game, okay, four lands in a row, why the heck not? Why the freaking heck not? Here's a Wandering Emperor for your troubles. Okay, this is the moment where you can say good game and leave. 
What a scam freaking game, man. What a scam freaking game, man. Unbelievable. I just scammed. Scammed. Rakdos, scam. Even if it wasn't Rakdos, am I still happy? Yes, at least we got a game that was as long as the other combined to get it. Get out of here, man. They still had to fight so hard to make this happen. But one Talia, and the game would have been looking so different. <gasps> Crimus? Absolute Crimus. Absolute freaking Crimus, my friend. Okay, alrighty. Okay, alrighty. So. Here comes the hopeful Nihiado. The bear is going berserk, man! The goose as well? Is the goose loose, Hong Kong? It is loose, it is loose, my friend. You did well, you did well. <laughs> okay. So, spells now cost one more to cast, which I like a lot. And we will see what they're doing here. We're up against enchantments now, which I really don't like, but what is there to you know, what is? what can I say about that? There is nothing I can say about that. So, the Jukai Naturalista. No surprise in this house. I was really, really much expecting that. Um, I will be attacking in first. See what they're doing. They want to do nothing. Okay, alright. Bringing down another one of these. Okay, so I guess that they will be attacking in with the Jukai Naturalista, which, you know, we don't care about at all. So you can do that, my friend. You can absolutely do that, as long as it only has like four... Yeah, that was so expected. So freaking expected. They never not have the ossification. Oh, that is so bad, though. Now we cannot use the Aganjo. Yeah, okay. I mean, what you gonna do about it? What you freaking gonna do about it? Just the perfect game for our opponent, isn't it? Disgusting game. Freaking disgusting. Okay. None of these are legendary, even though they totally should be. Doesn't matter, we're chilling. Let us see what they're doing now. The Kami. And... Another Ossification? Oh, just another Audacity. Alright, that is absolutely fine. With me. Absolutely fine. Nothing to see, nothing to say. They're too smart for my liking. They are way too smart for my liking. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. All right. So, show me if you do have another one of those things. Show me, man. Show me right away. The teachings is not another one of those things. Okay, all righty. So, we do have enough blockage here. They milled themselves good stuff. Real good stuff. Okay, all right. Spellbook vendor, you're up. Bunny, you're up. Pay one? Yes. Put it where? Here. Alright. So. He milled himself another ossification. That is pretty darn tasty. I like it a lot. The bunny is a good blocker here. Everything's a good blocker now. And now there is even another Talia. Alrighty. All freaking righty. So uh, let's start and put these down here, you know, and just get in for some damage because we still have like perfect freaking blockers. Nope, I don't want you at all. Not even close to it. Not even freaking close to it. All right. And once more, we still have perfect freaking blockage here. And they need a lot of stuff to be happy. Spirited Companion is a good start. It's a real good start. Okay, alright. And a land. Did you hopefully find a land? They did find a land. Perfect. Freaking perfect. Okay, alright. Another land. Are you yoking, game? Are you freaking yoking? Alright, put it on the Talia. Slamming in through the air still. I mean, my lord, come on. Come freaking on, man. <laughs> Just come on. <laughs> what are these jokes, man? What are these jokes? Okay, alright. So. 
They just scoop, man. After I have seen 10 lands. Holy smokes, man. What are these last two games? Just land bonanza. Remember, Jason milled us six lands in a row and we still drew another one off the top. Land bonanza, man. Get out of here. Yesterday I thought that I was done with the video, but I am not. I still have to record one. Oh my lord, Christmas! Yes! I was looking at the time and I was like, you know, 30 minutes gameplay ain't enough. So we're doing at least one more here. At least one, you know? So here's the hopeful in the hiato. Let us see what our opponent plays. Also mono white, eh? All right, let's bring this down before they can do anything else here. And... Hmm... Let's actually get rid of the ossification here. And attacking here. Okay, all right. They can bring in the dog, but it doesn't concern me too much because they will be blocking it anyways. All righty. Attacking in here like this. They're not even blocking it. Okay, all right. So, I think that they... Oh, they're going with the Circuit Mander. Okay, all right. Once more, all of this is okay, all right to me. Let's get rid of that sucker. Yeah, draw your card, dream your dream. I couldn't care less about that. Now, another hopeful Inichiado. You two go here, you legal regal bonnie corn go here. Okay, alright. They're just taking it. Just freaking taking it. Okay. That might turn into a problem, my friend. So, now we can even destroy freaking nosifications if we want to. And I think that I do want to. Alright, so here comes the ossification now. I mean, right now we are looking pretty tasty, you know? Even if they do have board wipes or whatever. Oh, this is even freaking better now. Even freaking better now. So we can, uh, you know, sacrifice one of the invasions of Gabakan And just go our merry freaking way. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Go the merry way, go the merry way now. So here's a wandering empress for you. Pretty darn certain. The farewell, eh? I think I'd rather get rid of that. Now, Regal Bonnie Corn to the face. You to the face. You two go here. All righty. All freaking righty. So, they don't have many choices here. They can, if they want to, uh, make a creature. But if they target my creature, I will just light shield array and the turn afterwards, I will just light shield array once more. So, what are you even doing here, my friend? What are you even freaking doing here? They're trying to. They're really freaking trying to. Okay, beautiful. I thought maybe, you know, they bring down like a blocker. That would have been so good for us, but uh, hey, here we are now. Here we freaking are now. Everything will get pumped up even freaking more. Beautiful. Oh, I think if they cannot bring down two creatures here, we just win. We just freaking win. Okay, alrighty. So, what is the grand freaking scheme, my friend? What freaking is it? The restoration of a Gunjo? I think that was the wrong call, because I do have the were fox here. What does the fox say? Where, 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 where are you away, man? So, they will be doing this. One bajillion percent. What are you doing, my friend? What are you even doing, man? You're just throwing away the game. You're just freaking throwing away the freaking game, man. I hope you enjoyed losing. I hope you freaking enjoyed freaking losing, man, because that is what you did! Just throwing it all away! Yes, 
That is right! I have protection for my man dead! It's like every single time the fox hit the battlefield, people couldn't take it any freaking more! Oh, in a battle, mono white versus mono white, mono white freaking wind! I'm happy that I realized that there was still one game to play, and here we are! Doing it in style, baby! More than 30 minutes of gameplay for you, my dear viewer! Just for you! I did it all for you! Just come here! Oh yeah, I'm not here. I'm in Berlin or Vegas or whatever. See you next time.